Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's early, it's dark, and we're doing some fishing. This isn't even like a ramp. <laughs> this is like. Well, it drops off like right here. But it's like straight, you're just backing into sand. This first run's about to be chilly. Yeah. So you could probably call this like a challenge day. We're fishing a lake. Neither of us have ever fished. I'm down here in Florida with Ricky today. So uh, he's taking me out on his boat. We're gonna do, try to rip into some flipping fish, flipping fish, shallow bite, try to get on the shad spawn before the sun comes up. Let's get rolling. I haven't been on a, on a, on a new, new lake, like new, new in quite some time. You see all the pads out there? Yeah, check it out from like right here. Pull out the bag. Shallow lake with a ton of lily pads, grass, shoreline cover. So I think it's gonna be a sick day. Both our comfort zones for fishing, I think. A little bit of a front rolled through Florida this weekend though. So it's a little chilly this morning, very windy, which is always, always makes for a fun day. But nevertheless, we're out here. Like I said, we'll both be fishing our comfort. I think both of us enjoy fishing shallow a lot, um, flipping heavy cover and top water and whatnot. So this is definitely the lake to do that and definitely the lake to produce a big bite doing those techniques. catching fish you know what you think good fish there look at his eye his eyes all messed up yeah he's got a blind eye there he's all beat up oh that's a real good one dude nice one. Oh, and he came <laughs> off nice fish dude i think you might have snapped my phone screen too come here But hey, <laughs> that was the second cast on your uh, whatever color dirty jigs it is. Oh, but really? That blue yeah. good one? Yeah, the blue good one. The second cast. Nice, Going from man. black and blue. They're so, in here. Yeah, we've got to work this pad field. Yeah, I guess. work them slow. Put them in the wheel. Put a good one. That's a real good one. Nice, dude. That's a pig. Whew. Giant, dude. <laughs> God, you have me nervous flipping that raw, man. That thing's like a dang broomstick yeah, flipping them you. in. It's like nothing. Nice one, dude. A solid three and a half right there. Nice. That might be four. Throw them on the scale real quick. Sweet fish. Yeah, three and a half, four. Oh, can I hand you this real quick? First one, first good one I snagged today on a swim jig. Throw them on the scales for shoots and gigs. Yeah, 3.8. That's almost four pounds. Ain't a bad one. Putting together a pretty good pattern for fishing these pads with these swim jigs. I'm snagging some some decent fish. We're gonna get back out there and try to grab some some more pretty good uh, five fish that we together. Today, you know what? The bite's at least consistent. We had one of that yeah, point right there. It's not like they're any different. I mean, that one was up in the pads. 
That was the first one I was I snagged that was up in it. I thought you just ripped into one. Got a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Two seconds after. That was not but two casts. Think they're liking the swim jig today? Uh, I'd, what, I'd say so. Dirty jigs. Smacked him. Swim jigs, man. Just choking it. I think that's another three and a half. Not bad. Three. That's awesome. Nice. Alright. Sure is. I was stout right there in the corner. Yeah. Off that little secluded patch of bully pads out there. Huh? Yeah. It's right out this way. 14 inch today. Again, that's the setup of the day there. Just a little, what size is this? Half ounce or? Yeah, half ounce. Half ounce dirty J's. I'm throwing a plum apple bitters naked swimmer as the trailer and then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Yeah. Out of here. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I told you, dude. It's just a matter of time before you run into one. You just smoked him right in the top lip, too. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> nice. Been four all day. We're going to catch bigger than that. Hold him up real quick for this. <laughs> uh... You called the whole All boat right, flipping dude. over a four. Hey, man. We're catching fours and four and a half like nothing. That's awesome. I'm telling you, we're gonna, it's just going to be one of them days. We're going to catch bigger than this, guys. I guarantee you, end of the day, we're going to have probably 20, 25 plus today. Sure. I can just tell. We're, we're in an area that's got just this. If it has this class of fish, every fish, just it's just a matter of time before one of us catches a real giant. Have been the fish that just smacked it. Yeah. Oh. Gosh. Nice, man. Three now. He's gonna call someone out. Nice. Solid yep. fish, though. Oh, yeah, I think it's gonna be garbage. But he also just we just snagged another solid one off the swim jig. Weaving in and out, catching some three pounders, one pounders, trying to get some some giants here soon though. We can keep casting around, see what we can find. Really good flat, but another solid fish. That's her. You want me to live her? You gonna swing her? <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Head right there. there hooks. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, I have I have your entire hook set on chest cam. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. I just started recording and you you hung into it. That's a melon head right there, boys. Finally, I missed three about this size or bigger. 
I was telling Connor we should have had a giant bag today, but we're still out here. We're going to have it. It's going to happen. Can't hear anything because the wind. Now we can't hear anything because the airboats. It's like we can't catch a break. Yeah, I have that black and blue trailer on it. Seems to be the ticket, huh? We're liking it. I don't have very many left, but. You filming that? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's the day right there. It's probably say. Oh man, that's probably pushing 22, 23. So, <laughs> nothing but solid fish today, y'all. Oh, yeah. Two biggest of the day. Ricky's going to release his right at five. It's a really good bag. And the water's so cool that it was full of energy. All right, man. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was a day and a half, I'd say. Yep. So, probably, I don't know how good the audio is. I don't have the mic. I'll set up so we'll get some videos back in the rain. Talk some more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are off the lake now. What a day, what a day, what a day. Probably honestly the best day I've had in a couple of years since being in the army for sure. And in the last year and a half of attempting to fish on holiday leave and everything, definitely the best day. What do you think, 18, 20 pounds? Oh, today? Yeah. I'd say 20, 21, 22. Yeah. We had the one that was five, and then we had a whole bunch of four, so. Four H12, 16, and, and then a five. And so that puts you at 21, and then you have the change. Exactly. Like four, exactly. Yeah. It's like four and change. Four and exactly. So I'd say you're at like 21, 22 pounds. So good day, man. I mean, you really can't complain about that. That's our first day ever on the lake. It was uh, post frontal conditions. The wind was blowing 30 mile an hour gusts at times. And the only one little corner of the lake that wasn't getting just absolutely, and it was, but not the entire day, getting absolutely pounded. It was like the only clean water on the lake. So Literally. Not, the trying to, not trying to sound like I'm a Elite Series Pro or an FLW Touring Pro. And like, I know all, all this crap about what we should have done is my first day on the lake, we smoked them. We just <laughs> got totally lucky. It was the only spot on the lake where we could get out of the wind. And I guess with this front coming through, the other side of the lake had just been getting dirtied up all week. So only side of the lake we could fish, happen to have clean water, and we just happened to get into an area where the bluegill were bedding and uh, had something that they like to eat when that time of year rolls around. Nice bluegill colored swim jig. So just got lucky. That's all. <laughs> right place, wrong, <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> right place, right time. And I mean, it doesn't happen like that every day, especially not the fish we were catching. And, so, you know, it was 30, 35 fish a day too, so there's no complaint there. Yeah. Alrighty y'all, I'm leaving Ricky's now, about to head on the highway. Heading back to, uh, to Georgia. Got a long week ahead of me, uh, a couple days on duty, so. Now what a storybook finish today was. I mean, literally, there's no other way to put it in, 
into words. I mean, it was literally just right place, right time, right bait. I mean, if for fish to, to be on a swim jig bite, to be on a swim jig bite like we were, I mean, it was just meant to be. Like I said in the beginning of the video, that was the first time both of us had fished that lake, seen it, been on it, whatever. And uh, for the first time, I think we did pretty dang good. And for us to fish that lake the way we did today, we honestly didn't really lose hope. But I mean, we had a really slow morning. We didn't get a, a good fish in the boat till about 9.30. And that's when uh, Ricky slayed three on a swim jig before I even got a bite. So that's when we kind of decided, yeah, obviously we're gonna have a good, good jig bite. So let's stick with this. And found found fish on one side of the lake that wasn't getting beat to hell by the wind and had legitimately clear water. As Ricky stayed before, I mean, it wasn't like we went out there and Ricky found all these elements of surprise to, to throw at this lake. It wasn't like we just knew what we were doing out there at the right time. I mean, we started slow. We just happened to make a right move at the right time and catch some fish on the right bait. I really wish we were in the tournament just to see how competitive we would have been with the weight we had. A super fun day nonetheless. I really enjoy coming down here to Florida again a day of, a day of fishing, especially when you can catch. I mean, that, that's, what exactly, that's what makes driving to Florida all worth it right there. So without further ado, I'm gonna get going, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys viewing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton, a ton, a ton of fun. I had a blast making this video for you guys. Really hope you enjoy it as much as I had making it. Until next video, guys, tons of content awaiting you, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking this video, getting this thing above 50 likes, let it know that we want to see more like it. Until next video, guys, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys again. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.